Hello and welcome to my channel. This is me, I'm Trevor Struthers. Home point updated. If you look right here, these are three John Deere combines. There's been some confusion over whose combines these are. These aren't the combines at the place I work at. I just launched my car off, or I just launched my drone off the Honda Civic off my car. Now I'm going to fly up here. These are just my childhood friends. They run green machines. We won't hold it against them. I learned on a green machine, so it's not really a problem for me. There are harvest running case combines, but this one's a green. Oh, he's out in the chem fallow. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so they're not unloading on the go, I'm guessing, because this is too steep right here. So these are, like I said the other day, these are three John Deere 7 Series combines with Hilco. Trying to avoid the chaff. So you can see when they're on side hills, he's over level. So on one side is where all the wheat runs down to. And it gets worse the more hilly it is because these things only level so far. They don't hit level like the... <laughs> they don't level like the, the old ones used to. So you can see how it's all slopped down on one side here. So you can't run them too full on the hills. It's more than one problem. It's not that it will spill out. It's a combination. It's that it will spill out and that'll be too much weight up high and that will lead your combine to uh, possibly capsize, and you don't want to do that. I'm trying to stay out of the chaff here. So that's a Kinsey bank out wagon, probably uh, 800 bushels. Nope. That says 1,050 on the side. That's a thousand bushel bank out wagon. Being pulled by a case quad track 620. So that's got at least 620 horsepower and it needs it to pull that thousand bushels. You'll probably overfill this bank out wagon, but look at this. I got a turn. I'm looking over here. This guy is crab walking across the, the hill in front of me, but I can't see him. Where is he? I'm off the road enough, they'll be fine. There he goes. So you can see from this rear angle that his back tires are kicked out a little bit. He's going straight, as straight as he can. As he comes across this hill and this hit. This hill is an upward angle climb a little bit, and also side hill. So I just switched to 1X. You can see him making this turn. He has got his back end sliding down a little bit. Hey, look, there's a... There's a truck. <laughs> there's the owner right there, making sure everything's going as planned. So all the rest of these combines have come across this hill too. Oh, he is way kicked out. Holy hell. And these other guys will be coming along this line as well.
as you can see, these tires don't level with the machine. It's the chassis that, that levels, so he is sliding. He is sliding down well across his line. You can see him. Yep, he's sliding out of the cut right now. Yeah, he is coming down the hill. There's nothing he could do about it. It's just too steep right here. He is drifting across that side hill. <laughs> From my angle, he is so far cock sideways. You can kind of see it there a little bit better. Let's see how the other guy fares when he crosses here. I want to get behind him. You could just see him kicked out. Here, let me get above it so you guys can see. I'm not sure if you can see from above as well. And they made it. Made it and still got an auger full of wheat. That's pretty impressive. These John Deere's are staying up on the hill pretty good, but when you start sliding, you start tapping and holding your upper hill brake or your uphill brake, and that allows you to stay up on the hill better because that uphill gets light, so it starts being faster than the downhill, and you'll start bouncing. So just slight pressure on that uphill brake will stop it. They're going to go around the other side. I'm not sure how good of a view I'm going to have from the other side. They are definitely cutting up on the top of the world here. Trying to look at the flag and try to figure out which one of these I could see. There's not a lick of wind out here. There's not much of a hill here. I'll cut across the other side. Pretty steep over here too. Yep, he's crab walking again.
That's a John Deere quad track right there. Not sure what the numbers are on it. He's going down the bank out road. That's what we call these ridge roads. These ridge roads connect the back and the front of the field because the bank out wagon, while empty, can go on a lot of things. But when it's full, you're going to want to keep it up top where it's flat on the ridges. Otherwise, it will be pouring out wheat, amongst other things. It could be rolling over. It could be sliding. It could be jackknifing. It could be pushing you down the hill. It's best to stay on top when you're a bank out driver, when you're a grain cart driver. I think that's a thousand fifty again. It's not eighteen fifty. Hard telling, but these are 36 foot headers. John Deere 780 and two S790s. And this is soft white wheat, I do believe. Most of the wheat out here is soft white. There's some hard red that goes to breads, but most of it's soft white and it goes to Asia. And they used to make cookies and pastries and all the different stuff. But they like the high quality wheat we grow out here in the Pacific Northwest. And there's easy access to the barges, which lead down to, from the Snake River from here, down, down to the Columbia, and then off to Portland where it's sold and then put on a container ship at the ocean and off it goes. As you can see, when you look around here at 360 degrees in the background, you should be able to see some mountains right now, but you can't because of the smoke. Oregon's been on fire for a month now. Washington ain't too far behind it. We've got a fire in the forest here just up the road. It's not as bad as the 2009 Columbia Complex fire, but this is something... Yeah, you can kind of faintly make out the blue mountains in the distance. So he's getting full. You can see his three-quarter full light flashing. That means he's got to be getting empty here pretty soon. There's going to be a bank out driver waiting for him somewhere. So right here is a sign of a good year. They both all just cut up the hill instead of cutting to the end. Because he's getting full. The lead combine driver's making the call that he's got to get up on top. He can't keep going anymore. He is well full. They're all plenty full. And like I said, he started getting heavy. The more weight you got on there, the more you want to slide down the hill. And if you're beyond maximum level, you can't take it all the way to the top because it will slide out one side and your alarm won't go off. Same if you're going up a hill, your full alarm might not go off because you have a sensor in the front but not the back. So it could be spilling off the back onto your engine compartment. You wouldn't even know it. So we're about to find out if this bank out wagon can hold three dumps from this combine. So all these combines got about the same weight to them, I think.
So he just flipped around so the next one could come and get empty too. Sign of a professional tractor or combine driver. All right, as he gets empty, he starts moving forward, shuts it off, then puts his auger back at the same time as not to spill any. So looks like he's gonna go down and finish off that spot that the other one skipped. Then he'll jump across and go down the steep stuff. Truck driver just went by me. I waved, I'm about to get dusted out. That's fine. But I'm also far enough over, I'm kind of on a corner, but I'm in the field. Should be out of the way enough. I'm actually two hills over. I'm surprised I even have signal right here on this. I'm gonna to return to home real quick, switch batteries.